Hello beautiful ones, come along for a walk with me and I'll explain exactly how to incorporate meditation into a walk in a suburban type environment and towards the end you'll feel together we'll really drop in and it ends with some beautiful birds splashing in a stream so let's go for a walk together. Trying to do a once daily walk as part of my healing not necessarily trying to go particularly early in the morning, but um, today it's pretty good. It's pretty um, early, like 10 o'clock that I am going. So it's nice. There's not a lot of people out. And so I will just take you with me. But what we can do as we walk is just literally focus on your legs and your feet and just say walking just say walking if you find that you start thinking because if you want to do a meditative walk we want to allow the mind to become still so to do that you use your the movement of your legs as your focal point and so you could just say the words walking every, like maybe four times a minute. So not super often, but often enough to keep you focused. So I like to walk near um, water. So if you're in an urban or suburban environment, see if you can find a place where you can walk near water. Again, what we're trying to do is just really tune into the sounds of nature. The Japanese have actually studied something called forest bathing and shown its effect on stress, just really being out in nature. Nothing much, nothing fancy to it. It's sort of common sense, of course, because we developed in just like a whale lives and has certain habits and certain foods and certain um, things that it does. In the same way as humans, we came up in a natural environment until very, very recently. So this is definitely soothing to the nervous system. And if you can, find a place where there's water, okay? And then as I'm walking, I'm just really, if I weren't filming for you guys, I would just um, say walking, all right? So that's, I'm literally gonna go silent and just practice that. And if you do see something that's beautiful or interesting, like I just saw a beautiful, I don't know if it was a blue heron, but it was a, an unusual bird. Um, you can stop, take it in, but try not to get into a lot of thinking about what you're seeing. Try to really just drop into seeing. And so that's a meditative technique as well, is labeling. So you could just label seeing, seeing, and just really try to stay present to the actual experience rather than getting into any extended thoughts. Let's just take in the sounds as well. So you likely will hear crickets. You might hear human sounds, depending when you are. And again, try not to get into figuring out what the sound is. Just let it actually just hit your ears and take it in. But try to keep the mind quiet. So that it's as if the sound just arises out of that quiet. And so that is a meditative walk specifically to stay present for the colors 
smells as I'm walking now. I'm smelling some subtle scent of flowers and then it disappears. I'm hearing the birds. So we don't want to go seek the experience, but just let it wash over you. So you remain, think of remaining very neutral. And again, you could just say walking, walking to yourself, but you're really walking in awareness. And you can do this in an urban or suburban setting, just a little more challenging. Remember, if the mind or anything pulls your attention, just go back to the phrase walking, walking. And we'll close with this scene. Let me know if you try this practice. of meditative walking.